All right, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to the signifier. Uh, this is kind of figure out position my mic here. Uh, so this is chapter three. Uh, sorry, I meant to post this video earlier, but I didn't have a chance to play yet. The idea was an office lab hybrid. Um, so in the last chapter, we visited what's her name, Joanna's. Um, yeah, Joanna's house. We're trying to figure out the password. And I still haven't had the luck with that. I'm assuming when I figure out this objective will be crossed over. So it hasn't been yet. So my next one, my next guess is the uh, find out if Martha is still alive. That's her sister. So let's see what we can do next. Maybe Evie will help me with this. Hi, Evie. Any news on the picture scan? I can't find any patterns. I am limited by the hardware. Yeah. <laughs> Point taken. However, I was able to reconstruct the recurring dream I mentioned before. It seems to have started about 30 days before her death, with strongly repeating patterns. It is available on the control panel. Good. Thanks. All right. So, this is, so this two are new, right? Oh no, this is new. Okay, so this is or unlocked so far. Oh wait, look, we got another one here. We got event three here we can do. Let's try to go back and find this right here. I don't think this was available to me yet. Okay, so remember this. Her own version of things. Such beautiful innocence. There's also that spoon again orbiting the sun. Interesting. This is where he's ordering food. Huh. Ordering food, it seems. 922 Klimt Street. Chinnerbard. Interesting. So those only, I can check out the real place now. Those are only three numbers I found in this game so far. And this dog represents something else, I believe. Interesting that this dog isn't in the objective state. Not seen anything new though. The spider is there. And I just walk backwards. There. Maybe I shouldn't look to them. Birthday. Okay, uh, so remember this, I have been here. What's that noise? Okay, somebody's Someone's knocking. desperate to enter. Seems slightly different than the last time I saw it. Hmm. Objective data is not found. 
this is new, is it? Maybe not. No, I've been here too. Yeah, this is where it splits. Okay. Ah. Still locked. We need to go back. Tina's ready. Yes. Tina's. Tina's ready. What am I missing here? Not such a relaxing sound anymore. Path splits in two. Uh, I think that might be a new sound. I don't know. I don't miss anything here. It seems slightly different than the last time I saw it. Ask Evie. It's not doing anything. Processing. At this time, I don't have any useful feedback. Oh wait, did I? No, I still. It's still not unlocked. Okay, maybe we just can't do it right now, I don't know. Let's go to the new place. New place, new place. I am having trouble reconstructing time and perspective in this dream. How bad is it? I should be able to reconstruct all the events eventually, but their continuity and the different dream perspectives are impossible. Please expect a few errors in continuity and perspective. 8% of dream reconstructed. This is a dream? Use time wrap, halt and move. Okay, it's not very, not very long. And go this way. This dream reconstruction is really something special, Evie. As it is a dream, there are no filters for physical accuracy. Therefore, I know it's easier to grasp the aesthetics of the imagination than the visual truth of memories. Precisely. 16% of dream reconstructed. Seems like a perspective error. It must match from somewhere. Find the ladder's correct angle in time for EV to reconstruct it. Let's go left. Yeah, I'm in here now. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Evie, try to reconstruct perspective from this angle at the current time of the dream. Oh, this is. Oh, it looks like somebody's sitting on the bed, maybe? 
be a bathroom or something. Oh, what? Well, this door is closed. There. Let's go up. Uh, am I gonna fall? Yes, I am. Not sure what to do with this. I jump, I can't jump in this game. Processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. Oh. 20% of dream reconstructed. I did it. Is this thing flying around right here? Not enough. Get it yet, maybe. Hmm. Was that maybe the stairs? That be the stairs? Yeah, it looks like it's the stairs. How to get out of here? to do what I do. Processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. Go back. Processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. Time and better viewing angle. There isn't really better viewing angle. 
processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. Okay. So, we got... We had like two impressions already, right? Yeah, two of them. I don't know. I think we still gotta do some of the stairs, I believe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. Processing. In case there are errors, I can attempt to reconstruct from a different perspective. Okay. I'll tell you if there's a time and viewing angle that seems like a better option. No, still not? Wait a minute, look, that looks good. Evie. Oh! He did it himself. To fix this perspective to the dream. Okay, okay, I'm getting somewhere. Can I go up now? Oh, yes I can. Yes, I can. I feel like I'm on the top of a Milan pyramid. Chichen Itza. 27% of dream reconstructed. This looks much better. I guess I just keep going. Could that be Joanna and Martha? I'm only seeing one person. I don't get it. 100% of dream reconstructed. Well, that was quick. So that's the end of the dream. Hopefully there's information about what caused it. Okay, we still got one more in here. Could that be Joanna? Processing. Dreams catalysts are usually found at their start, but maybe this one wasn't seen because of my reconstruction errors. Okay. As there doesn't seem to be more perspective errors. All right, so I think I we gotta get in the start. I'm to reach new areas by using the decoration of the dream itself. This is wrong. Go. I still can get up there. Yeah, let's do this. I do have to go back somehow. Okay, I don't know. Gotta keep twisting this guy around. Oh wait, there's a water? Whoa. 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 Oh. That dude? Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Is that rain? Oh, here we go. Oh, look at the doggy. Hey, Another buddy. Dog. As far as I know, Joanna didn't have a dog in her apartment. Someone else's, perhaps. Someone else's dog. Maybe it's Martha's. A cabin, maybe. Definitely looks like a cabin. Did Joanna visit this place? A cabin, maybe. I 
I'm glad I figured out how to get here, guys. I thought I was gonna get stuck. This water must represent something. This water must represent something. Water is usually a powerful subjective concept. I'm sure it's no coincidence. Processing. Dream's catalysts are usually banned at their start, but maybe this one wasn't seen because of my reconstruction errors. As there doesn't seem to be more perspective errors, I would recommend attempting to reach new areas by using the deformation of the dream itself. There's steam coming out of that pipe. That's what I did. I used the deformation of the dream. Oh, I can go up. There's steam coming out of that pipe. I should get closer. There's steam coming out of that pipe. I should get closer. Processing. Dreams catalysts are usually found at their start. But maybe this one wasn't seen because of my reconstruction errors. As there doesn't seem to be more perspective errors, I would recommend attempting to reach new areas by using the deformation of the dream itself. There's steam coming out of that pipe. I should get closer. Oh, I see, I see. Woo! Richard! A new name in the puzzle. Richard. Richard. Can you find I'm, something on him, Evie? Searching. Richard and these childhood elements, could they both be the catalyst for the dream? There are hundreds of Richards that could be connected to Joanna somehow. 29 of GoAT's current employees alone, and that is only from people that have their profiles public. <sighs> okay. Keep searching while I ask around. Okay, investigate who is Richard, reality and you. Processing. At this time, I don't have any useful feedback. Oh, thanks, buddy. All right. Uh, so what's next? We still gotta go to the beginning of the dream somehow, right? Let's take a look. Oh, okay. I think we're completed. Yeah, guys, we are completed here. Thank. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's so bright. That is so bright. They look like my servers. What's looking like your servers? Oh. They look like my servers. Alright, if there's no exit, I think I just have to kind of go back to the real world. Figure out who Richard is. Let's see here. This one's still locked. I got all this done. Doesn't look like I can switch the states, do I? Second, let me try something. down please no time I said there we go okay I had a check. Development logs of patch 1.2. Probably the most important update to date in Carl's last contribution to the project. What is this? Log one row data. Let's take a look at that, I guess, first. Let's 
They'll find a password somehow. All right. I have a temporary solution for when Evie can interpret some part of a memory, but it requires manual input. So, let's say the data was a chair. While Evie can interpret it is a chair, or where it should be, she's still able to produce a 3D geometrical output with sound, and that output is based on data which does have meaning. Got it. Okay, so I think that was that was my logs and stuff. That was me talking about Evie. Both complete. Upload is ready. Upload is ready. Nothing else to put in there for now. I need to start over again. Okay, so what can we do now? Hello? Mr. Russell, hi. My name is David. I'm calling on behalf of Marie Xu. Marie Xu? From GoAT? That's right, the CEO. Oh. Miss Xu would like to speak to you in person, Mr. Russell, at GoAT, today, if possible. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why Meet me? Meet with me. Why? She'd probably like to tell you herself, sir. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll be there. Good. I will let Miss Shu know of your answer. Directions will be sent to your phone, including a pass to our guest parking lot. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so let's let's head there, I guess. Go wait see. Go wait see. Goat. Go wait see. Okay, so that's the CEO of the company that Joanna used to work for. My car is like a unicorn in here. So do you really need to upgrade? It works. That's all I care about. Is it still matters? I... In truth, I've always disliked the vanity associated with cars. Hello? Mr. Russell, this is Marie. A pleasure to speak to you. Oh, Miss Chu. The pleasure's all mine. I was notified of your arrival. I hope you had no trouble getting in. No. No. None at all. I'm very sorry for the short notice. And thank you for accepting our invitation. I'm happy to be here. Good. There's a lot to talk about. Listen, I'm on my way down. Please meet me on the middle bridge. Sure. So, how do I get there? Ah, please, take the orange wing. The elevator on the right. Jess, please help him to the bridge. Of course. Jess here will open the elevator and get you to the right floor. I'm coming down now. Meet you there. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. I guess they use a lot of these to navigate inside the building. Okay, so orange wing. This is it. Elevator on the right. It's open. It's for me. This should be it. Hello? Uh, why is this not open? being repaired by a robot. Interesting. Okay, so this is the company that Joanna worked for. She used to be an old CEO, I believe, for this company. Now Marie is a new one. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, who was that? Where is Jess? Oh, maybe Jess just opened those doors for me. Is this her in a wheelchair? Is that a wheelchair? Mr. Yeah. Russell, we finally meet. I appreciate you coming on such short notice. Miss Chu? You seem surprised. I... Sorry, I didn't know you... Uh... That I spoke without moving my lips? Yeah. Well, thanks to the amazing scientists in here, I can. And just by thinking, I'm playing with these voices, but they're all still a bit off. My voice was more nerdy. This one feels wiser and more empowered somehow. I guess we need to have some of our AIs learn more types of people. It's interesting though. After all this CEO business, most people in our field have seen me talking somewhere. I guess that means you are really immersed in your own research. I like that. I guess I am. Indeed. It took some time to reach you. 
You seem to be off the radar. If it weren't for the echoes of your research in the science community, I would have thought you were a ghost. At least by today's social network standards. Probably not a coincidence. It's too easy to get distracted these days. Indeed it is. I actually find a lot of that in here. The need to focus. Everybody is building something. They have a goal that is beyond traditional ambitions. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Please, follow me. It's crazy speaking without you moving your lips, huh? Anything you're trying to do here is in danger. If you look through these windows, you'll see the substance of what the future will be made of. Automated farming. Clean energy development. Bold advancements in medicine. And here is our latest and most ambitious project. The first prototype of large-scale, AI-designed automated construction. Many local uses, but useful in other worlds as well. But these are delicate times. Every step we take is a war we must fight against ignorance, mediocrity, fear. We need all the help we can take. Building a good future is 25% human ingenuity. And the rest is all politics. You see, Mr. Russell, someone like you could help us in this fight, both on a political and scientific front. One second, Mr. Russell. Yes. Can't it wait a few minutes? Okay. Hold the call. I'll be there. You'll have to forgive me, Mr. Russell. Even Sundays I have urgent calls. Please meet me on the executive level. I should be ready in a few minutes. Jonas at reception will send you the right way. Oh, I can drive this guy? Hey, Jonas, is this you? Hello? Oh, I, I can go there. Hi, please put your hand on the glass so we can give you clearance. I wouldn't mind working for this company. AI? Oof. Good stuff, man. Hello, sir. Hi. You can find Miss Marie in her office. Goat. Joanna's office. Ah, okay, so Marie was the CEO. Joanna's the vice president, or was, before she died. Mr. Russell, I'm glad you made it up here. Please, close the door for me. I hope you had time to see a bit of what we're doing here. I wanted you to see it firsthand. There is so much prejudice out there regarding our mission. The best way to break it is to talk face to face, to be open about everything. I agree. Transparency is appreciated, and it's proven to be a good strategy for you. It has. When we first started, we didn't know where we were going to end up. The challenges we would face. As a young woman, I was naive, thinking most people would pull to the same obvious side. Better life for everyone. Progress, justice, and the success of humanity against all odds. 
But in truth, it requires massive amounts of strength and sacrifice to try to make things better. Yesterday, for example, an article came out saying that I oppose public spending on adapting streets for wheelchairs. Which is true. Why would you spend resources on adapting the world to such an old invention? When we are months away from making people like me not only talk by thinking, but walk. It is about spending public resources wisely. But this so-called journalist made it look like I was disregarding poor people. Because I live in a wheelchair-friendly, rich world. Ha. Ah. Then all social media, even the government laid into us. And meanwhile, other economies are beating us in everything. And we have the TSB breathing down our necks. And all Let politics. me ask you something. <clears throat> Has the TSB reached you already? I heard they're meddling with academics as well. Uh, TSB, is that? I don't know. I don't think so. Thankfully, not yet. Oh, that is good to hear. But still, regulations must be a burden, especially on brain scanning and AI development. Yes. I probably lost a month of work getting everything to comply, but I'm supposedly fully legal now. Supposedly. I know what you mean. They can always find something. By the book, nothing to worry. If you do everything by the book, there's nothing to hide. I like your moral sense, Mr. Russell. But I'm afraid these people will disappoint you sooner than later. I do hope I am mistaken, of course. Mr. Russell, let me cut to the chase. I admire your research. And you face the same challenges we do, but on a different scale. We think a partnership would be very beneficial. Type. A partnership? You mean a job? Here at GoAT? A job? No. A partnership. We're offering a very unique position here. A chance to direct your own projects. Very generous resources. And the power and freedom any smart scientist would ever want. Think of the other benefits. We're a tech company, with no connections to the pharmaceutical industry. I know that you already challenge their status quo and the effectiveness of their drugs. We can protect you from them, and make your research widely known. The benefits of working together are limitless. And in return? Two things. One is the share value of your expertise in the AI field, and the other is political support. A well-respected academic like you, that has always been outside of the corporate world. That is what the public needs to see. Uh, what's the sketch? So, I would be a political asset, and in exchange you would give me resources. That would be a cold way of viewing it. The warm way, which is how I'd like to think about it, is that together we can make the world a better place. Great minds like us need to unite and work together. And this is the place where you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Unless the TSB gets in the way. Politics is the other part of the equation. The biggest part, probably. When the time comes, everything will come down to ideology. I want you to be on the right side. Unless you think the TSB will avoid the upcoming problems by simply putting a lifetime break on every possible development. It'll risk progress and time. Bring it mild regulations, even if risking and stall stalling. We can't take any farther step without proper regulation. This is probably the right answer. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the middle one. Let's be honest, this is what I would choose. We need some regulation, even at the risk of stalling. A fair point, Mr. Russell. I would agree with you. If time was on our side, the way I see it. Regulation is supposedly what keeps us safe from the dark side of technology. But regulation isn't the problem. The problem is who creates those laws, and why. Given the current state of affairs, I don't trust the government's intentions. The law reacts, and it's always late. I understand they want to get ahead. The stakes are too high. A single mistake could cost the world everything. But they don't seem to be in the prevention business. They just want control. 
And God knows what they could do with what we create. They have their own agenda. So yes, regulation could be good, on paper. But in my opinion, that is not what's going on here. Besides, politicians, philosophers, intellectuals, they all had their chance. And they left us a world so advanced on one hand, and almost dead on the other. So yes, I don't appreciate them breathing down my neck while we try to fix their mess. Anyway, Mr. Russell, I don't want to keep you here for too long. And of course, you don't have to answer now. But I should tell you that given your opinions, I have no doubt that joining us would be the wise decision. I appreciate uh, the think. invitation, Miss Chu. But please give me a few days to think about it. Of course. There is no rush. We're more than happy to wait for someone like you. David will send you more details. And we should have dinner soon to discuss everything further. And now, I'm afraid I have to get back to my work. Sadly, the world doesn't really stop getting warmer on Sundays. Thank you for coming, Mr. Russell. Feel free to stay as long as you want. And expect a call soon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Russell. Ah. I saw the news. I'm sorry to hear about your VP. Yes. A very sad moment for us all. She was an incredible professional, and a great woman as well. I wish I had known what was happening in her mind. I guess I was too busy managing everything. What have you heard about her? Oh uh, yeah, yes. I Let's saw something on the news about her. Awful business. I imagine it must have been a terrible blow to everyone here. Indeed it was. I think she may have been contacted by the TSB. And who knows if they manipulated her. These people will do anything to fulfill their political agenda. Perhaps you can help us investigate things in the future. Find out how she really died. I'm sorry. Do you know anyone in this building named Richard? Richard? There must be hundreds. Why? Let's expose the case with TSB. Listen. I've been forced by the TSB to work on Joanna's case. There's not much I can do. I didn't expect you picked sides yet, but here you are. I appreciate this. You don't need to say more. Withhold information from them. Wait for me to contact you. You are doing the right thing. We won't allow them to destroy everything we've built. So, you're worried about the future, but have no faith in politics, am I right? Hmm. You could say that, Mr. Russell. It's a complex situation. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I think the world as we know it is about to change. And just like it has happened to every powerful civilization, once weakened, a new ideology takes over. If this ideology is a response to decadence and despair, then we risk a return to the Dark Ages. But if we find a new way through enlightenment, there is hope. We have to get ahead of them. Bring the good news, so resentment doesn't take over. We have to use science and technology in humanity's favor. Govern through intelligence, not fear. A new ideology will happen, and we have to make sure it's a good one. You know, I sometimes think you're the missing link in all this. The link between science and the human soul. Between numbers and poetry. I think your research can change the world. Help me create a better future, Mr. Russell. Wow. She talks a lot. Okay. Let's try to look at some stuff here. This is an Edward Hopper, right? Indeed. I keep that painting there as a reminder of the problems of that time. How progress also brought loneliness and alienation. He expressed it so beautifully. It's a reminder of what we need to avoid in the next cycle. When technology once again changes the social fabric of the world, we cannot make the same mistake. We must put ourselves first. I couldn't agree more. Enough blind steps. Yeah, is it a Japanese maple? I don't know. That looks like Joanna's apartment building.
Thank you, Mr. Russell. Take care. We'll be in touch soon. Goat. Oh, this door is open. Why did she ask for all these files? I have no idea. She did have access to everything, but it's very technical stuff. Completely out of her area. It's like super complex. Hard to read even for me, and I'm an engineer. And the notes on these paragraphs. Singularity? Unethical? Yeah, I think... Shh. And answer it. Joanna's office. All right, I guess let's get out of here. But something suspicious going on for sure. Boy, oh no! Password again, Russell. man. Hi, Tom. Hi. Password didn't work. Oh, damn. I thought I had it. And not only that, we put our whole operation at risk. The attempts probably didn't go unnoticed. You know how it is. We can't compete with their infrastructure. You have to be very careful, Russell. There's a lot at stake here. I know. You haven't given us a single thing we can use. I thought your subjective approach would be more effective. It just needs time. Each person is like a small labyrinth. I'm trying to get to the bottom of things. Well, I really hope you do. We don't want to pull the plug on you. <sighs> I'll get right on it. Do that. And I have a new task for you. Where are you right now? Uh, I'll... I'm at Go truth. AT's headquarters. Go AT? What the fuck are you doing there? Oh. I got invited to meet Marie Chu and met her at Go AT. Oh. Wow. I wish you could have told me that sooner, but that's great. Did she offer you anything? Asked you anything about the investigation? Not about the investigation, but she did offer me a job. Oh. Did you take it? I told her I'd think about it. Uh, well, if you get a second chance, take it. We can use this. She obviously knows you have sensitive information. It might mean that I could start another investigation against her. Another? Let's just say that that munch, the previous CEO at GoAT, didn't go quietly into the night. Still, thanks for telling me all this, Russell. It's good that we're talking. As I was saying, there's another task for you. I need you to help me find something on the husband, Alex. He was with us at first, but now he's gone dark. Maybe he's afraid of something, or maybe he's just angry. In any case, if you give us some leverage on him, we might get him speaking. I have a feeling he knows more than he told us. I see. I'm sending you his address. Don't push him too much, though. And of course, keep us out of it. I understand. Okay, Russell. Keep me informed. Don't fail us. Sure. Bye, Tom. Man, should have given him that, try to give him that password from the uh, pizza place or the food place he ordered. I wonder if it's the right one. Out of here. Stuck. There we go. This, yep, this is me. All right, where did I go? Oh, Alex's house, okay. Hello? Hi, are you Alex? Yeah, who is it? I'm Frederick Russell. I'm trying to find out about the reasons behind Joanna's death. Russell? It almost sounds familiar, but it doesn't. Go away. <sighs> Hello? Uh... Hmm. Do you Richard? know someone named Richard? Richard? I might know something, but why should I tell you? Mr. Russell? I think he might have something to do with Joanna's death. What? Wait, why am I talking to you? You guys will try anything, won't you? I saw the security cameras. No one went in. So for the last time, fuck off! Richard. <laughs> Man, those guys. Crap. I guess I'll have to stop bothering him for a while. That sucks. 
I guess I'll have to come back. Let's go home, I guess. For now. If somebody calls me or something else happens. There's never enough time. It's not time for bed. In the wrong place. I haven't slept well lately. Let's go to the lab. Oh, chapter four. Okay. All right. So this is going to be for another video, guys. Uh, it's getting crazy. There's a lot of policy politics going on. Hi, Dad. Hi, Laura. Everything all right? Yes. Do you mind if I come in? I'm not at home, but of course you can come in anytime you want. Oh, but I'm right here. See? How... how did you get here? I know where you work, Dad. And Gregor at the entrance has known me for a while, remember? Oh, yeah, of course. So... why aren't you opening? Oh, uh, wait a sec. Thanks. So that's my daughter. This place. Your real home, Dad. I gotta say, it looks a bit better than the last time I saw it. Where's Carl? Oh, Carl stopped working here a few weeks ago. Really? That sucks. He was a real nice guy. Oh, I picked up this magazine in the entrance. It's for you. Thanks. This is not a pipe. But the painting of a pipe. All right, uh, we're gonna save my game, guys, and I will see you next video. Or should I wait till she's done talking? I don't know. See if it lets me save it. I think I can just load from here, right? Yeah, maybe. All right, see you guys next video.